Hey, Kevin here, top 100 financial advisor, two-time author, one-time bestseller, and we're here to talk about the stock market. There is a party going on outside. We're kind of having a uh, staycation. So you're going to hear a lot of noise. I'm sorry, but I got to do my job, and my job is to give you news and actionable items for the market Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern. So we're here. All right, so as you know, this is the Investor's Toolkit. I'm going to come back on to this because it's really, really important to what we're going to talk about here in just a few minutes. But Costco reported earnings today. And just like I've been telling you all in the past, earnings can be weird. And even though Costco did well, they posted record sales. They're paying their employees more money to keep them. And, you know, it's a good thing to do. It's a whole pandemic outside. People are losing jobs left and right. They say, look, you work here, we're going to pay you more. And the stock dropped 2%. Analysts, which are the people that, you know, like to tell us what they think about the stock, they were not fans. They said that your cost went up by 280 something million dollars and the business, you know, is just too costly and you reduce what could have been profits. You could have paid them less and you could have kept more money, which let's be real, that's greedy, that's trash. But Costco in and of itself is actually good, which is why some people like Jim Cramer again, and it just so happened because clearly we didn't know this yesterday. Jim Cramer says it may be an opportunity to buy. Now, the funny thing is, if you have been on the email list for long enough, you know for a fact that I brought up Costco months ago. We're talking like March, April is when I told you guys about Costco. I've been rocking with Costco ever since, and it's been a nice ride. Again, I think they, I think it was $4 billion, I think they pulled in this quarter. Let me see where it was. This may be CNN, and what is this random ad? I need to get out the way. All right, so they put in record profits. Let's see what that number was. $4 billion for the first time ever. $4 billion. Like, this This should be a, a great day for Costco. But instead, again, the analysts, they look, your cost went up. Here it is, $281 million during 16 weeks between um, ending August 30th. Because again, they increased hazard pay. This is what you want to an extent. This is what you want from Costco. And, and the good thing is, and the reason why I think it is a more of a buying opportunity, clearly you want to assess the risk, see if it fits for you. It's not for everybody. And this is not direct investment advice for you. But it could be an opportunity because you know that when COVID is over, whenever it's, it's over, that pay will go back to normal in most cases. So you're getting bonus pay now, whenever this is over, that pay goes back and your profits go up. The fact that the stock dipped to me says, oh, it's definitely time to buy more. This is one of those times where, you know, sometimes you want to, you are, you're going to stay consistent anyway, or at least that's what I recommend. So for me, I already own Costco. I've been owning Costco for months. I've consistently, it's Friday. So I bought more Costco today. So I, I was going to do it regardless of what was going to happen. But if you were looking, if you were ever looking for an entry point, this would probably be it. Also, and I'll get to this in, in a second too. I think someone had asked me um, in Messenger, like, how do you know what's the right price to buy in? I'm not a real price person. I Now, there, there are really complex equations that will say you need to buy when the price hits X amount. If you can figure that out, you're more than welcome to do it. But I don't think that to be a good investor, you need to really nail down what the price is. I think the most the most important thing is get a stock that's moving up and go go to stock or a company that is quality. We know Costco is quality. I can show you a few graphs to prove that. But again, regardless of what happened with earnings today, it's y'all know I'm going in and I'm buying every Friday anyway. So I would have gotten it anyway. But I called out Costco because we identified this as a quality stock. Months ago, before Yahoo Finance, if you attended my webinars, I teach classes all the time. You guys know there's actually a slide. I, I, one that says like March 16th or so, and I said, hey, Costco is a stock that you want to look at. If you invested $80 a month in Costco for 10 years, from 2010 to right about now, you'd have over $130,000. $80 a month, that's $20 a week. That's a quality company to me. That's an easily quality company right there. So let's take a look at Costco here, and now I'll go to the Investor Toolkit and, and tell you why and how we knew this. Um, so as you see, 
I mean, look at this. First off, it is almost twice as good as the market, the stock market in the S&P 500, rather, 9%. We're close to 19% with Costco. And as you notice here, when the market took this huge dip back in March, Costco was fine. <laughs> Costco was fine, which again, I've been tell preaching this message over and over and over again, telling y'all about not putting everything in tech and look what happens been telling y'all where to put your stuff when pandemic type types of things happen been talking about costco been talking about walmart been talking about jolly general all three of them have been have done well all three of them i have been telling you for a while y'all in the comments y'all will verify this i've been talking about those three for forever you can go on the facebook page go on the youtube page scroll back long enough you're going to hear me yell about those like I am now. But again, you want to diversify. You want to get you something in that consumer goods, consumer staples area because of stuff like this. But also Costco has been good for a while. You hit the five-year chart and they were up like 130 some odd percent, 135 percent over the past five years. The market was only up 68. They didn't even crack 70. Again, almost twice as good as the stock market. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to continue for forever, but this is what we do know. Record profits, even though they pay their employees more in a pandemic where most companies aren't doing well. So when this is over, we know Costco was doing better before the pandemic, so we already know that. So after the pandemic, it is good to assume that they are likely going to continue. But as they do continue and things just continue doing what they're doing, their costs are going to come down because they're not, they're probably not going to pay bonus pay for forever. And even if they do, even if they do, because you never know, guess what? They were still good. They still had record profits. So again, if they don't have record profits when this thing is over, fine, costs come down. If they do, then everybody wins, including the employees. So this, in my view, I've been, I've been telling y'all, Yahoo Finance told y'all it's the best pandemic stock. I told y'all weeks before that I should have um, I should have brought up the email and I think I'm gonna try and do that. So give me one quick second. I'm gonna see if I can pull up the email to just further drive this point home. And let me, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pull up that email because I know some of us are new and some people are like, who is this guy and why is he talking about these things? So I'm gonna pull that up and let y'all know right quick. Uh, you can't see it now because you don't have emails. I don't everybody hold my, my business like that. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can pull it up real quick. So bear with me as I do that. And I'm gonna type in Costco Building Grid. And if, if you've been on my email list at least since March, which you should, buildingbread.com slash free, I'll be giving out all the good tips for free, for the low. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you do that. All right, so I am pulling it up and let me see if I can, how do I break this out? There we go. All right, all right, so I'll break this out. We're gonna talk about the Investor Toolkit and then we're gonna head out for today. All right, so share screen and boom. All right, now you should see it. All right, this is the ultimate pandemic stock to own, but I told you about it three weeks ago. This is, what day was this on? April 8th, 2020. April 8th, 2020. So right now it is September 25th. I told you about it months ago, months ago. And as you see here, uh, on March 16th, even, bro, I got a live stream, I'll be having all the dates. So here you go, March 16th, did a live stream. I'm gonna click that link and see where it goes. Um, did a live stream, talked about how Costco was set up to do well in the pandemic. Been telling y'all that. Back then, the share was 285. Right now, at the time of the email, it was at 304. Today, it is at, today is at 342. <laughs> Bruh, I'd be on it. Um, all right, so it had 6% gain, market's down 20%. And we just compared some other things that you see here. Talked about the investor's toolkit. And you you see here. So again, I'd be telling y'all in advance, and I'm more right than I am wrong, but also there's a process. There is a I have a very specific process 
on how I go about this and how I choose investments and how I know what works and what does not work. This is why I try to impart that wisdom upon you. Also, I'm trying to go back to, um, to the regular screen. Here we go. Let's see if this works for us. And it should, you should be able to see the screen. Okay, you can. All right, great. All right, so as I was saying, I'm telling you, you could have gotten in at 285, you know, months ago when I brought it up. Um, obviously, you want to do your due diligence, make sure it fits for you. You still could have done fractional shares too. But again, we've done this before. I am not a top 100 financial advisor for no reason. I don't get up here and talk to you guys every single day for no reason. I am serious about helping you to start investing, to start building generational wealth, and to improve your financial position so you can travel more whenever outside opens, to start your own business, and to spend more time with your family. That's how I got here because I learned how to invest my money in the right places, at the right times, in the right ways, and most importantly, I was able to protect myself while doing it. All that stuff is inside of the investor's toolkit. Use the code GENERATIONAL2020 to take $200 off. If you use a payment plan, that first payment is just $149. That's it. That's it. With the same, the same stuff I, I use to, to know that Costco is where I want to put my money and let y'all know that Costco was a place that made sense is inside the investor's toolkit. That entire process is inside the investor's toolkit. And I'll show you here. It was also on my list. And um, someone asked me earlier today, had a phone call, said, hey, you know, I work 12 hour days. It's hard for me to like sit down and like do a course. Is there like a shortcut? Well, I have a monthly stock list. Costco has been on that list for quite some time. Students who, who have been here, y'all know, y'all saw Costco months ago and plenty of y'all invested in and made money from it. Again, why you want to be in the investor's toolkit. We also know that you don't want to make an investment mistake. We're not going to be perfect, but we can reduce the chances that you could lose money. That is also here inside of module two and parts of module four and parts of module five. Really module five is like where it really is, but all that stuff to help protect so you don't pick stocks that hurt you and that you don't put yourself in a terrible position. We show you how to protect yourself. We show you to get how to find stocks that work. And even if the market goes down, you can also make money there too. That's why we added the options section. So don't, don't stay lost. You do not have to stay lost forever. You don't have to be frustrated. You don't have to lose everything. There are ways to protect yourself and ways to make money. Again, I told y'all back in March, March 16th is when I first brought it up. It's out there. Even though the market has, has been all types of crazy ever since, right? And Costco was down today, but I see it as an opportunity. But in reality, I've, I've been seeing it as an opportunity. I, I've, I've been seeing it, right? <laughs> but I've been seeing Costco as an opportunity for a while. So I'm not really focused on like what the price is. I'm more focused on, is it a quality company? What has it done over the past few years? And is it Friday? So I must be invested, right? That's, that's it. So you want to have a process, which we talk about. You want to be able to identify what's a quality company and what's not. And you want to know what works for you because Costco is not going to be for everybody. You may just say, look, I don't want to deal with it anyway. I just want to get index funds. We cover all of that stuff too. So make sure you check out the Investors Toolkit. I will put that link in the bio as well as the, the discount code. And discount code does expire soon. I want to say like next Wednesday or so. So you want to definitely check it out as soon as you can. All right, that is it for me. I am going to go, well, it's nighttime now, so there's no beach to enjoy. But I'm going to go play with my toddler and hope that he goes to sleep as well as a newborn. It's, it's rough out here. All right, that is it for me. I will talk to y'all later. And y'all be safe.